Hello boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Minecraft. Today we will start off with a time lapse because there is tons of work to do and you don't want to watch me uh, for hours and no end. As you can probably already guess, this episode is about the Guardian Farm and the most grindy work is actually drying the Guardian Temple out and uh, removing the structure. So that's why for the start of this episode I have a lengthy uh, time lapse of me doing just that and uh, while that uh, plays out in the background I will talk a bit about what's going on. So the design is basically a combination of what I figured would work best based on uh, Nambom's uh, Guardian Farm tutorial and the uh, killing collection part is actually uh, identical to what uh, Isca Lady 5 had in Hermitcraft Season 6. Uh, I hope I don't forget to link uh, the relevant uh, videos down in the description so you can check it out. But basically what I found the easiest way to uh, place the sand here is using this little contraption here that pushes sand forward for 12 blocks and then you have to uh, move it. Uh, occasionally you get interrupted by guardians. <coughs> you can help this uh, with uh, an invisibility potion if it gets too much. So maybe let's also talk a bit about uh, future plans because uh, uh, when this video goes out Minecraft 1.16 is already out for one and a half weeks. Um, so I do definitely have plans to do something in the nether but seeing that uh, everyone on YouTube uh, uh, just uh, uh, goes to the nether and uh, uh, does the uh, usual stuff uh, like visiting uh, the uh, different new biomes and uh, trying to find ancient debris. Um, I don't think uh, you want to see me do that. So I'm not quite sure what I will do. I will definitely go into the nether but maybe not in one of the next videos. I also have to check some some things to figure out uh, what will what will break so I can uh, uh, fix that. I will also have uh, to fix my uh, tree farm because the issue there is uh, uh, basically the uh, push limit that sometimes is uh, <coughs> reached if the logs are not uh, uh, exploded by TNT and that messes everything up. So I will rebuild that but uh, off screen and then we can actually uh, start doing the decorations there as well. And I also decided on uh, where I want to have my uh, storage system. So that's also something that I, will, uh, li I would like to tackle soon because uh, the amount of shulker boxes on the outside of our little hubble um, grows and grows. So um, I want to have something like a bulk uh, a storage system uh, based on, on shulker boxes and uh, 
basically have a sorting system for the for the most common types um, then something like uh, uh, sorting different items into uh, one chest that basically uh, belong together uh, or like for example uh, uh, stairs and slabs of uh, of um, a certain type and then basically huge silos for all the rest so quite a bit different than what I had in my uh, last world um, but uh, it's always good to try uh, new things and then basically what I want to do in the nether is uh, uh, finally build my gold farm uh, because with the uh, new piglins you can uh, barter and uh, get really good stuff out of that uh, apart from uh, loads of crap uh, but uh, that's also something I want to do so that will keep us uh, occupied uh, at least for the next few uh, uh, episodes so enjoy and uh, once all this is done we will progress with all the grindy stuff now out of the way I can finally start building this here behind me I have started to dig out uh, four Oh, a two by two uh, shaft all the way down to bedrock uh, and this will be the drop shaft for the guardians down at the bottom I want to have a facility that uh, kills the guardians by uh, uh, drop height so uh, they have to drop uh, 43 blocks and at the same time I want to be able uh, to uh, kill them manually as an XP farmer so I guess I will have hoppers at the bottom and then I have some mechanism where I can uh, just uh, uh, push some stones or some slabs over them and that should reduce the fall height of the guardians so that they are down to half a heart and uh, easy to kill and then of course uh, we will need uh, uh, something to sort through our uh, through the drops uh, but all in good time so let me back jump in and uh, dig out some more down here on the top here i'm prepared the uh, layout for the uh, spawn areas so in total we will have five on this side five on this side and two on either end so that means um, 12 uh, and uh, everything gets uh, flushed down over this uh, lip with uh, glass panes here to the middle and down there is uh, where I've been uh, actually doing a bit of work over here I have a drop chute that leads down to the upper layer where we have uh, the uh, storage and here this is uh, actually the uh, manual killing chamber this is a setup uh, inspired by uh, impulse 85 so i can turn it on which will uh, push blocks uh, on here and uh, on here so uh, the knockback cannot uh, push me back and as you just saw 
the pistons will retract for a short time, uh, basically allowing any drops that collect on top of here uh, to fall down. Unfortunately, the spawns are not as big as I would have hoped. So maybe I will uh, switch the system and uh, uh, disconnect the clock there in the back which uh, triggers the retracting so that I can just stay here wait for the guardians to collect and uh, once there is a bunch uh, uh, swipe at them because uh, this each swiping will do some uh, damage to me so the less I have to kill the better for my health then uh, one layer down it's basically just uh, automated killing um, guardians drop die on uh, on impact and in the back we have the uh, hopper elevator or the, the water elevator that uh, pushes everything down here over the sorting system and I spent one complete night down there, so one double chest, two double chest, and uh, half a double chest of uh, shorts, and one double chest with uh, the crystals. So. Maybe not the best farm for uh, uh, XP, but uh, if I have the time, I think uh, it's quite good uh, uh, for the yield. And I also finished on the top here. So uh, basically, uh, yeah, from down here you can see Bello. Uh, Below we have the flowing water that will push the guardians to the middle. Then open fence gates on top. Four layers of water with a solid block capping it off. And that means that uh, the guardians cannot spawn in the uh, topmost water block or the lowest one, but only in the uh, middle two which is flowing water, so they will be uh, pushed down and then on the outside there are uh, is a rim around it consisting of uh, five leaf blocks and that should increase the uh, pack spawning because the spawn attempts for pack spawning is uh, pushed to the middle at least that's how I uh, understood Nembom's uh, explanation of this. So, as you are already accustomed to probably um, decorating this, uh, this whole thing uh, will come at some later point. But now we have uh, Guardian Farm we can uh, check this off and uh, move to the next project. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, video. If you did so, please consider leaving a like and I will see you in the next one. Bye!